Hi, myself Avranil Chatterjee. In this video, I am going to present my recent work, a special case of rational identity testing and the Bresser Clef theorem. This is a joint work with V. Irving, Rajit Dutta, and Partha Mukhopadhyay. In this talk, I will start by presenting the special case of rational identity testing or RIT. And then in the second part of the talk, I will focus on image of non-commutative algebraic branching programs. And then I will finish with a short summary. Okay, so let us start by a special case of RIT. In algebraic complexity theory, we are mainly interested to study the complexity of computing a polynomial. To compute a polynomial, we, we use operations such as addition and multiplication. When we talk about non-commutative computation, we impose another restriction that the variables do not commute. In other words, suppose the multiplication gets, we impose a restriction that they should respect the ordering that the left child and right child of the multiplication get, we should distinguish. So the product xi into xj and xc into xi, this will be considered as different non commutative words. In this talk, our focus will be on non commutative computation that allows inverses. Rubus and Wigerson initiated the study the complexity theoretic study of this subject. However, in mathematics, this is quite well studied. It computes non-commutative rational functions, similar to commutative rational functions, elements of the universal free skew field. However, it is math mathematically quite challenging to analyze, but it can be defined through evaluations of rational expressions on couples of matrices. So how do we define it? Suppose you are given two rational expressions R1 and R2. We say that these two expressions R1 and R2, they are equivalent. That is they are computing the same rational function in the free skew field. If for every matrix substitution of any dimension, whenever both R1 and R2, they are defined, then they must agree on that substitution. Rubis and Wigerson also defined the problem of rational identity testing, which can be thought of as a generalization of polynomial identity testing, PIT. In this problem, in the RIT problem, given a non-commutative rational expression, we are asked to determine whether it is computing a zero function in the universal free skew field of rational functions. From the previous definition, equivalently this problem can be restated as given a rational expression, we want to know whether for every matrix substitution of every dimension, if this expression is evaluated to a zero matrix or not. So, as we have to check for all the dimension, it is not obvious, is it possible to obtain a polynomial time algorithm for this problem or not. So what is known for this problem is the expression is given to us by a rational formula. That is the underlying graph structure is a tree. Then in white box setting, that is when we can exploit the structure, the underlying graph structure, then in white box setting, this problem can be solved in deterministic polynomial time. It follows from the previous work done by Gerg, Gurbis, Oliveira, and Vigerson, and another paper by Ivanis, Kiel, and Subramaniam. Whereas in the black box setting, in the black box setting, this problem can be solved in randomized polynomial time due to Darthen and Markham.
but we do not know any sub exponential randomized algorithm even randomized algorithm for rational circuits that is when the underlying structure is just a dag instead of a tree the situation is even worse we can also talk about inversion height of rational expressions inversion height is the number of nested inverses to compute the rational expression clearly non commutative polynomials they are the they are also rational expressions of inversion height zero for non commutative polynomial we have for non commutative pol, uh, circuits we have a randomized polynomial time algorithm for pit however for rational circuits if we only allow uh, computing expressions of inversion height one then also we do not have any sub exponential time randomized algorithm in black box setting even when the input is given by rational formula we do not have any deterministic sub exponential time algorithm what we do in this work we consider a special case of rational expressions of inversion height 1 and we show that we can obtain efficient white box and black box algorithms so before before i discuss the model that we consider so let us just recall the definition of algebraic branching programs or abp which is the computational model that sits uh, between formula and circuit and abp is a layered dag where the edges are only allowed from uh, uh, we only allow allow edges between the adjacent layers there is a designated source node like in the diagram g is the source node and a sink node like here the seventh node is a sink node each edge is labeled by a linear form if we consider any source to sink path it computes the ordered product of the linear forms labeling their path p the final polynomial computed by the abp is the sum over all the source to sink path so the polynomial computed by this abp is the following as you may check what we do in this work we generalize this definition of abp instead of labeling each edge by linear form we label each edge by sum of linear forms and inverses of linear forms it can also be thought of like between each node we are allowing multi edges labeling by linear forms or inverses of linear forms the rational expression computed by this model is defined similarly sum over each source to sink path p however the difference crucial difference is that now every path is now labeled by a ordered product of linear forms and inverses of linear forms so eventually it is computing a rational expression of inversion height 1 the size of the abp is defined as the total number of multi edges what we obtain our main result is that given an given such an abp a polynomial set abp in white box setting we can actually solve the rit problem in deterministic polynomial time whereas in the black box setting we can obtain a deterministic quasi polynomial time for this problem now i will just go over briefly the proof idea for this problem we crucially use ideas and techniques from algebraic automata theory the main idea here is that so what is the problem that a polynomial we could we could write it as sum of non commutative monomials and testing identity was just like for every word whether it is uh, the associated coefficient is zero or not but for rational identity testing the inverses cannot be written like that 
So the first step is to get rid of the inverses in your models, in our model. So what we do, we find a nice scalar shift. We shift the variables such that all the linear forms present in the input ABP, they will have a non-zero constant term. And then we convert the inverses to clean star. Where by star I mean x star is equal to 1 minus x inverse. So let us take a small example. Say so this age is labeled by uh, it, it is an age in our model and it is labeled by a, a linear form and inverses of linear forms. Note that no linear forms has a constant term. So what we do, we find a shift. So let us just shift x1 and x2 to 1 minus x1 and 1 minus x2. What happens? 2x1 minus x2 it changes to 1 minus 2x1 plus x2. And look at x1 minus 2x2. After the shift, it has a non-zero constant term, 1. And now that inverse we write as star. So what we can actually do, this edge, this one edge in the ABP, we can substitute it by a small automaton, small weighted automaton. And we do this for every edge in your ABP. And at the end, we obtain a weighted automaton with only some polynomial size blew up. What we show that this conversion from this ABP with inverses from this model to this weighted automaton, actually we can preserve the identity. Remember that by identity, I mean, when we talk about that, whether the ABP with inverses was computing a zero function in the free school field or not, it had a semantic meaning that we wanted to know whether for every matrix substitution it is computing zero matrix or not. When we talk about that zero, the weighted automata is computing a zero series, it has a syntactic meaning that for every word the associated coefficient is zero or not. We can show that the conversion process, we can preserve the identity. Testing zero of that AVP now reduces to testing zero of this automaton computing a series. Now we apply Susan versus theorem that tells us that to test zeroness of a series, we can just truncate the series at a polynomial length and we can test the zeroness of the truncated series, which is just a polynomial of polynomial degree. And we show that this polynomial can actually be computed by small ABP, small algebraic branching program. And then to solve this problem, both in white box and black box, we use known techniques, known PIT results for ABP, like Raspilke in white box, and non-commutative heating set, heating set for non-commutative ABPs by Forbes-Pilke. This is all I wanted to talk about the special case of IRT. Now, let us move to the second part of the talk, image of non-commutative ABP. To define the image of non-commutative ABP, let us first fix a matrix algebra. Let us consider K by K matrices. Take any non-commutative polynomial F. We define the image of F at dimension K as a set of all matrices that can be obtained by evaluating F on some K by K matrix tuple, okay? So the problem that we are interested, that given a non-zero non-commutative polynomial, find a matrix substitution such that the output matrix is invertible. It is not at all obvious that whether such substitution exists or not. From Amistad's theorem, we know that if the image of F at dimension K contains at least one non-zero matrix, that is, F is not an identity for K by K matrix algebra, then 
the image also contains an invertible matrix. From this statement, our randomized algorithm follows easily. We can obtain a randomized algorithm just by substituting k by k matrices, where each entry is chosen randomly. However, in this work, our aim is to obtain a de-randomized version of this algorithm. What we show that if the polynomial is a polynomial say of degree d, if it is computed computed by an ABP given by given as a black box, then we can actually find d by d matrix tuple in quasi polynomial time, deterministic quasi polynomial time, such that the image of the polynomial is invertible on that point. Let us just go over the proof idea. So here we crucially use the Frobis-Pilka heating set generator for commutative set multi-tenant APPs. So just to give us, give an idea of what a heating set generator is, we can think of a heating set generator as a multi-input, multi-output circuit. So given any, no, uh, any commutative set multilinear ABP B, suppose we want to test identity of B, we want to test whether B is identically zero or not. Let us compose B with G, with the heating set generator G. Here T is, T is smaller than N, T is quite small, smaller than N. What happens when we compose B with G? Now it reduces the number of variables and it, it can be shown that B is identically zero if and only if B composed with G, G is identically zero. And Provis-Pilke heating set generator shows that this T can be of order log n. To prove this, we also use a map, set multilinear map, that maps a non-commutative monomial to a commutative set multilinear monomial take any monomial x i1 to x i d, it maps to y i1 comma 1 to y i d comma d, where the second index keeps track of the position of the variable in the non-commutative monomial. It can be shown, it is actually easy to show that this if the non-commutative polynomial if is zero, identically zero, if and only if the state multilinear version of the polynomial is also identically zero. So what do you do? We find a nice matrix substitution for each variable. Each variable xi, we substitute by mi that has this following shape. It is almost super diagonal, only we put this yid in the last entry as the last entry of the first column. So we can show the determinant of the image of the polynomial in this matrix substitution is exactly a product of some set multilinear ABPs. Here by F sigma j, we denote a cyclic shape of the non-commutative polynomial. I will not go into the details, but what we show that, okay, for every non-commutative polynomial, uh, its cyclic shapes can also be computed by a small ABP and it preserves identity. And at the end, the determinant of the image can be expressed as a product of some commutative set multilinear ABPs. Now we can apply Frobis-Pilka heating set generator for set multilinear ABPs, as I mentioned earlier, and ensure the determinant is non-zero. That gives us a substitution, a matrix substitution that ensures the image is invertible. The other results talks about span of the image of non-commutative polynomial. I will not go into the details of this result. Just I just want to mention for commutative polynomial, where only two options, either the image is zero or non-zero. Whereas for non-commutative polynomial, there are four possibilities. It can be identity or the polynomial is central in that algebra or it is trace zero, the span is all trace zero matrices. 
or the span is the full algebra. What we actually show that when k, k is greater or equal to d, the dimension of the matrix algebra is greater or equal to the dimension of the polynomial. We can actually check whether the image is traced zero or not. Eventually, for uh, for k greater or equal to the d, the first two cases will not occur. So it is only between the last two. And as we can check the trace zero case efficiently, it also gives us an efficient derandomization of this bracer clef theorem. Okay, now to summarize what we did in this paper, we exploit techniques from algebraic automata theory to design an efficient algorithm, both in white box and black box. Efficient RIT algorithm for a special case of inversion height one. If we compare this technique with the previous techniques like operator scaling technique or invariant theory as used in the previous papers, this is quite elementary. Also, the second result can be seen as a strong version of the Frobisbica heating set for non commutative ABPs. Recall that when we talk about heating set for non commutative ABPs, we, it can only ensure that there exists, exists a matrix substitution for which the image is non zero. What we can show that we can construct a heating set where for one of the matrix substitution, the image is not only non-zero, it is also invertible. Now, I want to finish with uh, mentioning an interesting open problem in this area. So given a rational formula in black box, can we obtain, can we de-randomize the RIT and obtain a deterministic quasi-polynomial time algorithm? Recall that for non commutative ABPs, such a deterministic quasi polynomial time algorithm is known, whether it is also the case for RIT or not. Thank you.